What's going on, guys? How are we doing? Welcome back to uh, Season 2 of The Rounds, which is proudly brought to you by Brew That, Drank That, and All That Ales. It's time to pour another pint of knowledge, and as we live out our dedication to bring you the freshest and tastiest in all that brews, we are, of course, supporting that idea of support your local economy, support your local American independent breweries, and uh, hopefully we're going to end up with something as tasty as we always do. So we're kicking it here in Atlanta today, uh, if I didn't make that clear enough. And we're going to be checking out Red Bricks Dog Days. Red Bricks Dog Days is a brand new seasonal. This is, in fact, the first year it's been released. And... Uh, give you a quick idea of what it's about. We weep for our northern brethren. Long winters, suspect college football, and perhaps worst of all, no red brick beer. Since 93, we've been brewing fine craft beers for the South, and only the South. We're proud to stand alongside Grits, Hound Dogs, and Mama as embodiments of the Southern lifestyle, and we're proud to be beer from round here. So, that actually told you nothing about the beer, so why don't I step in and offer a little bit of enlightenment. Uh, Dog Days is supposed to be a pretty straightforward Hefeweizen. Um, but, let's be honest, it's easy to say, hey, we did a straightforward Hefeweizen. It's another thing to produce a fantastic Hefeweizen. Uh, Hefeweizens are one of the few German styles of ale uh, out of the massive amount that Germany has contributed to brewing history, brewing culture. Believe it or not, there's only a handful of ales that they that they would even claim. Uh, if I remember right, I think the final count comes in at around four or something like that. Literally, everything else that Germany would claim as, as contributing to beer culture, beer history, is a lager or a variation therein. Uh, Hefeweizen... Uh, is typically a wheat-based beer. Uh, it uses unmalted and a little bit of malted wheat sometimes, depends on the recipe. And old school variations of Hefeweizen are not pressurized. Uh, typically, especially in our American brewing society, we're looking to hit certain production numbers. So we close the seal on the mash tun or the fermenter and we crank it out. We force that fermentation. Now a really old school version is when breweries take the time to set up the fermentation process and they leave the lid wide open and they let nature do its thing. They let air slowly feed onto the top of the fermenter and the fermentation occurs naturally. Uh, what you can expect from Hefeweizens, I'm not sure if I've ever actually reviewed one for you guys or not, you can expect hints of banana ester, clove, uh, you can expect uh, kind of light but sharp hop character, if that makes sense. These are not going to be hop bombs. These are typically not going to be hoppy beers in the least. And yet the hops they do add are going to provide a slightly sharp characteristic. And not necessarily astringent, but sharp in an attempt to cleanse the palate towards the end of your flavor profile. As you can see, the head has already started to break down on this puppy, and this is pretty much where it's going to stay. Uh, it's broken down just about all the way, but there is a nice little caking in the center of the glass that is maintaining just a bit ahead. Um, not fully filtered, but it looks like it might have been cold conditioned. I'm not entirely sure. Um, it does still have a bit of body to it, which I'm a, a huge proponent of. I think it's you getting more for your dollar in terms of being a consumer. Um, you cannot see all the way through it, but a golden, gorgeous hue to it. Uh, not an over-the-top amount of effervescence, but what we do have are small, steady streams of champagne-like effervescence rising up through the body uh, and kind of gently working their way to the top. Okay, uh, full disclosure. I'm not a fan of banana esters. Some folks absolutely love banana esters in their beer. And I'm not going to call you weird. I'm not going to say it's gross or anything like that. I just don't agree. It's not a, a characteristic that I look for. Uh, I know one of the major European beers that you can get over here in America is called uh, Banana Bread. And they, you know, hawked up a bunch of those banana esters and they got that really kind of bready malt going. And, and people who are into that love that. Uh, not my style. Not my style. This one does present banana ester, but not in a way that I find unappealing. This is more like... 
hints of banana ester as opposed to like an in your face punch of banana um, and there there's clove there too but again some hefeweizens are going to present that clove really strong it just depends on what brewery we're talking about uh, the clove doesn't present over the top here at all uh, too much clove I think can can actually be caustic uh, while clove can work as a palate cleanser uh, much like uh, cardamom in some beers uh, or anise in others, uh, too much I think is is a bad thing. Uh, if you're going to do too much of something, in my opinion, it should probably be the hops or the malt. Just me though. Um, so gorgeous hue to it. As I said, light hints of banana ester. There's a little bit of a, kind of a, a malt right in the middle of the nose, and then at the end you kind of get that clove uh, characteristic. really nice. Uh, the effervescence provides a really nice mouthfeel. Uh, kind of moves across the, the mouth and the tongue really nicely. Um, you do get flavors of wheat uh, in there. A uh, little bit of banana ester during about the first quarter of the flavor profile and the last quarter of the flavor profile. And then the little bit of hops there are with that clove characteristic, which actually comes from the yeast, uh, comes through right at the end very light drinking especially when it gets hotter than balls down here in the south uh, and if I remember right I want to say this may even be a session beer and I actually can't remember so I'll make sure to double check that and when you guys see the stat screen should have that up there for you no problem uh, but it may actually be a session beer it may come in under five percent alcohol by volume so the the big appeal here is uh, light flavor profile, so it's going to appeal to a much wider range of people. So if you hang out with noobs, you know, this is something you can put in front of them and it shouldn't freak them out too bad. Uh, additionally, uh, by virtue of, of being a section beer, I'm pretty willing to bet it is, uh, you can have more than one and, and not necessarily worry about it where with Imperial IPAs, Imperial Stouts, those kinds of things, you know, especially with the heat and the amount of dehydration you go under by being out outside anyway. Uh, after one, you're done, kind of a thing. I mean, if, if you're being responsible, anyway. Um, but really, really nice flavor profile. But again, a very, very nice flavor profile. Light, easy drinking, approachable. And the banana and clove, as I said, they don't over-present. They present and kind of just give you a general general footnotes so to speak in terms of what the paradigm of a Hefeweizen should be all about uh, really nice really well done comes in six packs shouldn't run you more than $8.99 or $9.99 if you're paying more than that then the store you're buying from is trying to rip you off um, bang on bang on uh, again I am not the biggest proponent of Hefeweizens uh, there are a few that that I really freak out over um, but I always believe get outside of your comfort zone, try new things. It's the only way you're going to know what kind of attributes you really enjoy about any style of beer, whether that be your favorite or your least favorite. So that'll do it for us here on The Rounds, guys. It's been my absolute pleasure to pour you another pint of knowledge. Uh, my name is Glenn, and as always, we say drink American, drink independent, and drink to your health, and we will see you over our next pint. Thanks so much, guys, and we'll see you next time.